Okay, team, here's what's been happening on Ghost Rider. The facts. First, the Ghost Rider team is competing in the Hoodman comic book contest. If they win the contest, they get to star in a Hoodman comic book. Hoodman is this cool dude who wears a special wristwatch and a hooded sweatshirt that makes him bulletproof, super strong, and really fast. And the contest is like a scavenger hunt with clues hidden in special comic book panels. Each panel leads to a different place. But someone doesn't want them to win. Quit the contest now. Prepare to suffer. Now, here are some new facts from the last show. If they win the contest, they get to star in a Hoodman comic book series. You see these letters? They could stand for the name of the person who drew this. And I know how you can start searching for it. Ghost Rider! And Ghost Rider is on the case. Then, the team figured out the second comic book panel. Coney Island! That's one of the places on the map! Let's hit it! But when they got to Coney Island, this weird guy... Stoop dude's the name! ...tried to get them off the track. Suckers! It took a while, but they finally got the third panel. Next, Ghost Rider helped the team figure out who Man E is. So... The person who sent us that threatening cartoon is Manfred Manny Geitz. They want to track him down. So far, they figured out he went to Mead High School, wears a sweatshirt that says all the right moves, and likes to draw. Will all this creepy stuff make the team quit the contest? No way. Hoodman would never let some jerk with a bad attitude stand in his way. Neither would Ghost Rider. And where will the third panel lead? Get a pencil in your casebook out and keep track of the clues, because the Ghost Rider team is on the case. Bound and gagged, bound and gagged. Those in my way will be bound and gagged. <laughs> I wonder if this uh, Manny guy has anything to do with that uh, stupid guy. Who are you? Stoop dude's the name. Serving humanity is my game. Maybe they're working together. Or maybe they're the same person. They do sort of look alike. Well, whatever's happening, we've got to track this guy down. Let's see. There are a lot of guides in here. But uh, not a Manfred or Manny. Don't tell me we've got to call them all. <sighs> you got it. I just can't wait to get that third panel. <laughs> me neither. Nonsense. Why didn't you consult me first? Because I didn't think that I had to. It's our money. Estoy comprando algo que necesitamos. Something we need? An old truck that's liable to break on us every other day? Yo sé lo que estoy haciendo, Estela. What do you know about trucks anyway? That we were going to get a fairly new one. We can't afford a fairly new one. Which is why we were saving our money. Our business needs a truck now. And this is a great deal. Then why didn't you consult me? I mean, madre, you're like a broken record. Don't you talk to me that way, Eduardo. De que manera solo estoy hablando. Oh, you're just not talking, you're yelling at me. I am not yelling! I swear. Shh. I think... You'd better take a long, long walk around the block, Eduardo. Rob. Hi. Can I come in? Sure. Sorry, I kind of ducked out on you guys like that. That's all right. I had some things to take care of. Personal stuff. Is everything okay? Yeah, sure. We, we missed you. So how's the contest going? Great. Sort of. What do you mean? Huh? Somebody left us a threatening cartoon. Quit the contest now or prepare to suffer? Oh, man. Yeah. And on top of that, this guy that calls himself Stoop Dude and dresses really weird sent us in the wrong direction at Coney Island. Did you get the panel anyway? Yeah, finally. Panel number three. And I think we better get started on it. I don't know, Alex. It's gonna be all right. I've never seen them argue like that before. It's really scary. Yeah, I know. If it's scary to you, too, how come you're so sure it's gonna be all right? Well, 
make it all right. How? Now, panel number two, Dr. Kill escaped while Hoodman was dealing with Kill's three thugs. And in this panel... Excuse me, sir. Did you see somebody speed by on power skates? We should tell Ghost Jet and the Do Re Mi stuff stands for musical notes. It means the street musician is playing the bass. Right. I'll write it down for him. Yes, he went under the boardwalk. Thank you, sir. Got it down for him. What's next? It's a mask. It's Dr. Kill. All right, my thuggies. Really seal hood man up this time. Trapped. What's wrong with Ghost Rider? He can't find anything to read in this picture. Doctor kills thugs. Trap hood man in a net. so we can find out what the next place is. What place is there left? Well, we've already been to Coney Island and the Prison Ship Martyrs Monument to get panels. So that leaves the Brooklyn Academy of Music, the Aquarium, and the Boathouse. Now, in the last two panels, all the words in bold were clues, so they're probably in bold here. Let's write them down. Shoot! Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Musical notes. Or scales. Right. Music. Maybe the location is the Brooklyn Academy of Music. Maybe. There's more, though. Skates. Seal. I still say it's the Brooklyn Academy of Music. Nah, I don't think so. There's two other clues that don't fit. How do you know they don't fit? I'm checking the Brooklyn Academy of Music information sheet. Wait a minute. Look at this word. To seal something means to close it up. But a seal is also a sea animal. Where's that aquarium stuff? It's over there. Actually, I don't see any of the clues here. Got it. See 20,000 creatures from under the sea. Pacific octopus, giant Japanese spider crabs, sea turtles, sea bass, piranhas, skates, penguins, seals. Hey, wait a minute. Skates? That's a fish? Either that or a mistake. Here it is. The dictionary says that a skate is a kind of a fish. Skates, seal. And the notes should be scales. Fish scales. We did it. Aquarium, here we come. Book. Well, what took you so long? Huh? Only kidding. In fact, you are in first place at the moment. Great. Hmm. You mean that stupid dud guy hasn't been here yet? Stupid dud? 
Uh, no, no, not an orange sweater for miles. <laughs> uh, let's see. Good, very good, quite good. So, can we have the last panel? What? Oh, of course, and what a fine panel number four that is. Uh, aren't you going to stamp our book? Just testing you. <laughs> New rules. Well, uh, thanks. Run away again. <laughs> the next panel, please. Let's get moving. Okay, we're all finished cleaning this room. Do you think Mama and Papa will notice the difference? Notice it? I'll probably think they've entered the Twilight Zone. But will it really make a difference? I don't know. Will it keep them from fighting? I don't know, right? You don't have to bite my head off. I'm sorry. It's okay. What next? The story. Come. This last panel's really tough. Maybe we're missing something. Yeah. Better go over it again. If I could just get this rope blanket off me. I guess he means the neck. Next? A trusty, rusty rowboat called Academy of Music? Well, it's one of the places. One of the two that are left. Hoodman struggles to catch Dr. Kill's ship. Just keep on rowing, Hoodman, you win. Kill ship is called houseboat? You flip those words around, you get boathouse, the other place that's left. So which one is it? The boathouse or the Brooklyn Academy of Music? I don't know. Will Hoodman recover the wishing stone or not? The end. Let's get these clues down fast. We've got to beat those other kids. A lot of clues this time. I say we go to the boathouse. We've got rowboat, ship, and houseboat. But we have Academy of Music, too. But none of the other words go with Academy of Music. Well, what is struggles, rope blanket, trusty rusty, wimp, and wishing stone have to do with the boathouse? Let's check the information sheets. See any of the clues? Nothing. Man! We're gonna blow the contest. And our chance to star in a comic book. This panel's just too weird. The clues don't fit together. And where's the skywriting? There's always been skywriting. Yeah. Maybe this panel's a fake. Hey, yeah. Let's see if there's anything else wrong with it. Look, the last picture. Hoodman's not wearing his hood. That's a major mistake. What else? His special wristwatch. He's not wearing it in any of these pictures. Clues that don't fit together. No skywriting. No hood up. No special wristwatch. This panel is a fake. Given out by a fake special agent who bites instead of stamps. But where's the real special agent? We've got to get back to the aquarium and fast. Gone. I wonder where the real special agent is. Do you hear that? Yeah. It sounds like it's coming from behind this fence. Lenny, look! Boy, am I glad to see you. Special Agent Harlan, Cosmic Comics. 
Are you all right, sir? Yeah, fine. Just more than a little embarrassed, that's all. <sighs> Wait. My shoes are still tied together. What happened? It all went by so fast. One minute I'm standing there with my clue bag. Clue bag. The panels. Your hood. Yeah. All gone. Except there was somebody here disguised as you, handing out fake panels. We think it could have been that stoop dude guy who sent kids in the wrong direction at Coney Island. Yeah, I heard about him. And now we think he might be connected to this Manny Geit guy that sent us a threatening cartoon, warning us to quit the contest. That I haven't heard about. Yo, special agent. We think this panel's a fake. It is a fake. That's what we said. I'm sorry about all this, kids. I'm calling Cosmic Comics. Hey, cool. ¿Qué le ha a ustedes dos? Nothing's gotten into us. The storeroom is so neat and clean. I swept it today twice. And I figured out a new way to stack the boxes. Estela, where is the folder with the bills from last month? It's in the cabinet drawer where it usually is. I already looked there. Well, maybe you didn't look carefully enough. Listen, you can hide the folders from me if you want to, but I am buying that truck regardless. Not until we sit down and talk about it. So you did hide it. No, I didn't. Look, the future of this store is very important to me. And it isn't to me? Stop it, Papa and Mama, please. Stop it. It's not working, Alex. We won't be able to keep them together. Yes, we will, Gabby. We've got to. You've got to what? Keep you and Papa from getting a divorce. <gasps> getting a divorce? Where'd you get the idea that your father and I... Oh, because we've been arguing? It's so scary, Mama. You never argued like this before. Oh, yes, I think we have. Not so strongly. It was like a real fight. Vengan acá, ustedes dos, siéntense. Y quiero que me escuchen. Now, listen to me. First of all, it's not your responsibility, no matter what happens, to keep us together. That's our responsibility. Comprending. Sí, mamá. But... Secondly, your father and I are not getting a divorce. It's just that right now we strongly disagree about how best to spend our money for the future of the store. And your father can be very stubborn at times, but then so can I. But it's a kind of strength that we respect each other for having. But what will happen if you can't agree? Oh, I'm, I'm sure we'll work out something eventually. And besides, parents can disagree about many things and go right on loving each other. That love is like a safety net. But can't disagreements sometimes break people up? Well, yes. Sometimes they're so big, couples can stop living together. Like my friend Verna's parents? Or Gary White's. Yes, and cousin Rosa and her husband. Yeah but not your father and I. In fact, sometimes for us, not agreeing makes our marriage more interesting. That's right. The nice thing about arguing with someone you love is you can keep on talking because you've got lots of time to work things out. I found the folder. Eduardo, we have to talk about this. So let's talk. Uh, 
I will say one thing, though. It's nice to see such a clean room. <laughs> Finally, the real thing. Well, that's a competition. We can do it. I think it's time for a rally so we can get all our heads together again. You want to call it? No, thanks. Okay. Lenny should have at least called us and told us where the next location was. Call when you can rally. Yeah? Oh. Well, sorry to bother you, sir. Thanks for your time. Bye. Well, that's the last of the guides. And not a man fruit or manny in sight. of time. Plenty of time. The others are out of the race. So there's plenty of time. And after I solve this here panel, the contest will be mine. Manny! Yes, Aunt Wilhelmina? Would you go to the store and pick up a few things for me, please? Yes, Aunt Wilhelmina, right away. We finally got the real panel number four, mostly thanks to Rob. All right, Rob. Yeah, way to go, Rob. Right. Come on, yeah, nice I didn't job. do that much. You did a lot better than Jamal and I did trying to look for Manny Guy. Maybe we should ask Ghost Rider for some help. If Manny's wearing his favorite chess club sweatshirt, Ghost Rider might be able to read Manny MHS 88 and help us find him. Yeah. Yeah. Him. Wait a minute, he's sending us something. What's that? I know. A street signal. Don't walk, walk. Maybe he's out on the street. Yeah, and Ghost Rider doesn't know where. Maybe he's heading for the next location. That won't do him any good. The special agents won't be at the locations again until tomorrow. So when are we going to start working on panel number four? I can't tonight. It's too late. I gotta go home. Tomorrow morning, then. First thing. We'll be here. Later, Lenny. See you later, Lenny. See ya. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 spoken here. But where is here? Estella. 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 That's Alex and Gabby's mom's first name. The bodega! How's the contest going? Okay, Mama. We're gonna win it. Thank you, ma'am. Uh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Really sorry, son. That's a 
okay. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm really, really sorry. Okay. 